we're all familiar with circles. They're everywhere around us. Uh, in the shape of our eyes, the iris and the pupil are circles, um, plates, cups, saucers, um, the moon. Everywhere you look, you're going to see circles. The word itself comes from the Latin circus, which just means ring-shaped or round. And the word circus was applied to the round or oval-shaped track on which Roman chariot races used to be held. But what about the maths of circles? That's what I want to talk to you about today. A circle is the set of all points in a plane at a given distance, r, called the radius, from a fixed point called the centre. A circle is a simple closed curve that divides the plane into an interior and an exterior. It has a perimeter, called a circumference, of length 2 pi r, and encloses an area of pi r squared. A circle can also be defined as a special kind of ellipse in which the two foci are in the same place and the eccentricity is zero. Both the circle and ellipse are types of conic section, which is a subject I've done a separate video about. A circle is also the two-dimensional shape enclosing the most area per unit perimeter. A circle has about 80% of the area of a similar width square. The actual value is pi over 4, which is about 0.785 or 78.5%. Technically speaking, circle refers only to the edge of the shape. When referring to the whole shape, including the space inside, the correct term is disc. The circle is the only two-dimensional shape that has infinitely many different lines of symmetry. A line cutting a circle in two places is called a secant. The segment of a secant bound by the circle is called a chord and the longest chord passes through the centre and is known as a diameter. The ratio of the circumference to the diameter is pi. The length of a circle between two radii is called an arc. The ratio between the length of an arc and the radius defines the angle between two radii in radians. The area bounded by two radii and an arc is known as a sector. A segment is part of a circle bounded by a chord and the arc subtending the chord. A line touching a circle in one place is called a tangent. Tangent lines are perpendicular to radii. In coordinate geometry, a circle with center AB and radius R is the set of all points x, y such that x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. If the centre is at the origin 0, 0, then this equation reduces to x squared plus y squared equals r squared. In affine geometry, all circles and ellipses become congruent, and in projective geometry, the other conic sections, the parabola and the hyperbola, join them. In topology, all simple closed curves are homeomorphic to circles and because of this the word circle is often applied to them. The surface of revolution of a circle, the shape you get if you rotate a circle about its diameter, is a sphere. And that's a shape about which you'll have more to say in a future video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to discover more maths on this channel. And I'll catch you again very soon.